Hey everyone, I'm Matt. Welcome back to another video. Today, I am super excited. We're taking a look at something unique on the show. This is a half travel trailer, half pop-up. It is a hybrid. This is a 2022 Jayco J Feather model X23E. We are gonna take a look at the outside features first and the inside features then. We're gonna give you three things we love about the hybrid and three things we dislike about it. We're starting in three, two, one. Hey everyone again, welcome back to another video. Today I am super excited to be showing you guys a hybrid. This actually sleeps 10 adults comfortably, which is amazing for such a small unit. But before I begin, I would like to say hi to Will. Hey Will! Hey guys! How's it going today? It's going good. It's a beautiful day in Tampa. Sun's out and it's super nice. We're here at the RV1 in, in Tampa, Florida. Yes! And um, I love pop-ups. They're so much better. I mean, hybrids are so much better than pop-ups. Yeah, pop-ups suck. No, yeah. I'm just kidding. Um, so I'm excited to see this floor plan. Can, yeah. can't believe you can sleep 10 in it. Yeah, no, it's really crazy. I'm really excited. Will, let's begin! All right. Model is X23E Jayco J Feather. The actual tip tip length of this travel trailer is 26 feet 8 inches. The dry weight is 5,120 pounds. And will that hitch weight? 600 pounds. What's insane, Will, is again the fact that it can sleep so many people for such a small trailer. Yes. You'll understand once we're on the inside. Okay. Right here, we do have a nice power tongue jack. Propane tanks go there, and your battery goes right there. Right here, Will, this is the hybrid. These are pop out beds, and they are made out of canvas and they fold up. We'll show you how they fold up on the inside once we make our way all the way around. Okay. Right here, we do have the Furion side marker lights. And then a little bit of storage right here, not much, okay? Not much, you got the light in here. Right here, we do have a manual stabilizing jack. And then right here, we do have a nice power awning with LED lights. I love it, it goes literally the full length yes. of the entire trailer. Very nice feature. Right here, Will. We don't have the solid steps, but at least they are the aluminum steps, okay? Okay. It does have the glacier package, which is a heated and enclosed underbelly. And because it's a Jayco, it does have the two-year warranty, three-year structural. Very nice. And then look at these tires. We'll do the Goodyear tires. I love those. ST205-75R14. Very nice. And then you do have cable TV for the outside with speakers coming on down the side here it does have the j port which is a thing that goes in if you want to have like a little skillet cooktop area or whatever you know what i'm saying okay coming around the back we do have a nice bumper for your stinky slinky spare tire spare tire carrier another side of canvas right here and then it is 30 amps so that's where the power is there and well is there a backup camera prep there sure yes. is furion backup camera prep but no ladder. No ladder. Coming around here, well, look at this. A third pop-out. This is a party machine, especially if you like to go camping with adults or very tall children. This is absolutely amazing. Right here's your outdoor shower, black tank flush cable hookup, and then look, that's where you're dumping your black and gray tanks. Not bad at all. Finishing up. Right here's your water heater, your city water connection, and your potable water fill. Potable, potable. And if the beds weren't enough, Will, you have a huge deep slide out. Now, here's the thing. You 100% need, not even a want, but you need weight distribution bars. We recommend the Kurt brand. Right. We'll link them down below because you're gonna have very, the it, it's the equilibrium. Yeah, exactly. The equilibrium's all messed up because of this, um, because of that front slide out. You forgot the tires on the other side. What do you mean? You didn't say here are the tires, did you? Well, I mean, we never say the tires on this side. I know, but you forgot you didn't do it on that side. I did. Oh, did you? Okay. William. Sorry, my bad. It's okay. It's a bee by your head. I know. <laughs> William Henry. William Henry Harrison. Look at this storage right there. Very nice. Yeah. And then to wrap it all up, here's just the little bit more storage as well right there okay well well the outside of the trailer looks oh wait no, no wait 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 well hang on i'm so confused the outside looks great but the inside looks even better but before we show you that we're actually going to close one of these up okay 
So, let me demonstrate like this. Okay. Flip up this tab. Okay. And then let's go in on the inside. Okay. Oops. Show the inside real quick. Okay. Got your living area, dining area here, kitchen area, more beds, and then the bathroom all the way in the back corner here. Great, so before we show you guys the inside, do you want to take a quick second to thank our sponsor, Lippert. Lippert's doing the 12 days of giveaway, December 13th through 24th. To enter, all you have to do is follow them on Instagram. So go to Instagram and at sign Lippert. They're giving away Kurt weight distribution bars, hitches, zero gravity chairs, Furion backup cameras. They're giving away a lot of stuff. So make sure you follow them on Instagram. Okay, Will. Yeah. So then here's what we do. This part, we take this. Pull it forward. Yep. Okay, so you got that down. And we pull the mattress out so where that lays flat. Okay. okay. And then this can kind of flip up just like this, okay? And then, well, let's go outside. Okay. Oh. Like that. Cool. Easy peasy. Just like that, and then you get it all tucked in. And then you curve it away, right? Take this and you do that. And then when you're at your campsite, watch yourself. You drop this down. Pull the, the canvas little, over. Yeah. Isn't camping fun? Yeah. You come back inside. Take this. And you spear it like you're a fisherman. <laughs> like, ah! Oh. I just caught me a marlin. Bam! Look at that, Will. It's pretty neat. And that's why I like pop-ups so much more. You can do that in... Hybrids. I mean, hybrids. You can do that in 60 seconds. And then, well, look at this. It's super nice and comfortable. Put in some fresh air. Yes, sir. Some nice light. We are camping now. Isn't that nice? It is. And like you even feel today, that breeze? Yes, that breeze. That's what I was saying. Yeah. That breeze feels phenomenal. What? Not <laughs> to watch the video back. Oh, okay. <laughs> <laughs> and my side. <laughs> what is, was he looking? Yeah. Oh, that's funny. <laughs> okay, awesome. And then right here, we do got a little bit of storage. Not much. A little bit of storage there. A little bit of storage there, okay? Very nice. Cool. And then over here in the living room area. Um. Oh no. Are you kidding me? These dang jump boxes, man. Storage right here. Okay. They can't stay on for 20 minutes. I know. We do got the uh, window right here, side window, and a very nice sofa. Well, yes. now this sofa does jackknife down for a sleeper. And then directly across is that U-shaped dinette. Now, I absolutely love that U-shaped right. dinette. It's so big and spacious. A lot of people can sit around. Look, our battery jump box is practically dead, but it's still very light and bright It here. is, yeah. Actually, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm what? gonna get. I'm gonna get it all. Get it all open? Yep. That'll help. Yeah, for sure. Better? Yep. Damn, jump box, man. It always sucks. Okay. U-shaped dinette, and then we got storage underneath here, and then storage underneath here. This dinette does drop down to make a bed, and I love oh, yeah. how there is flush floor. And no carpet. No carpet, exactly. Will, do you want to show everybody the kitchen? Sure, but before I do, I want to give a quick reminder. We are partnered with RV Retailer yes. now, which is a nationwide network of dealers. So if you're interested in this unit or any other unit we show, make sure to go to our website, mattsrvreviews.com. Yep. Click one of the three tabs. Matt and I will personally help to make sure that you get an awesome sale price, yep. an amazing buying experience, and even better service. You messed it all up. I did. You're, we're going to get great service, yes. a great price, yes. and the best RV buying experience. That's right. And 
RV retailers are a lot better at selling RVs than they are at keeping jump boxes alive. <laughs> Let's continue, Will. Okay. Okay, here's what I really like about this is, a, you know, a hybrid's gonna be kind of more entry level, um, but they still did the farmhouse interior, which I love. Okay. I think it looks really nice. Yeah. With the white cabinets and everything. You got a nice pantry over here. Very nice. Plenty of pantry space. Uh, Furion microwave right here. This is a compressor fridge. Well. Oh, wow. Furion refrigerator here. Drawer. And then on the other side, this is a Furion microwave. Hey, that's a nice refrigerator right there. <laughs> uh, Furion range hood right Furion there. Furion everything. It Love is. that. It's Furion everything. Love that. Um, good little backsplash. Three burner Furion cooktop with the blue lights that aren't going to work. Oh, there those you go. work. Yep. Uh, and oven right there. Drawer space right there. Now, is this pantry as well? Yeah. That's crazy. It sure is. Even more pantry space right here. Very nice. And then up top here, you got some more cabinet space. Wow. Nice big uh, double bowl sink. You got a window on your campsite. Not solid surface countertops. Not a big deal. Nope. Trying to keep the weight down, price down. And some storage there. Yes, sir. Cool. All right, well, it's now time for the shower test. All right. Oh, man. Uh oh. This ain't going to be good. What is that? Oh, it's a radius shower with no door. Uh oh. Yeah. <laughs> this is like the worst. Yep. There is no pass in this. It, okay, so it's a horrible shower for a travel trailer, it is. but a phenomenal shower for, for a, a pop up. Pop -up. Yep, yes. exactly. It's a hybrid, y'all. It is. Okay. Over here is your sink area nice little medicine cabinet little storage underneath there it's gonna be plastic yeah it's in a horrible position as well yeah i mean like <sighs> will yeah th today's not our finest hour no it's not you know what's funny the first video we did was phenomenal it was. that we had a meeting no more meetings on film days right because it has us all screwed up today. The bathroom sucks, you know. But again, it doesn't suck. For a trailer, it sucks. For a pop-up, it's phenomenal. Right. And then again, it's one of those things, you're, people, people are probably wondering like, why would I settle for a bathroom like this? Here's why. Because you have another sleeping area for adults. Right. And then back there, Will, another sleeping area for adults. That's crazy. Isn't it? It really is. And somebody left their hat in there. I mean, he comes with a free Tampa Bay hat. And then there is a little bit of storage right here. Okay. And a little bit of storage right here. Okay. Well, well, that's it. That's the review. That's the crazy review. We're going to tell everybody the MSRP in just a few moments. But first, it's now time to give everybody three things we love about this trailer. Three things we just don't like about it. Will, what do we do first? Let's do three things we love about it first. Okay. We've been doing dislikes first a lot. Perfect. I'm going to go first. Okay. Uh, the size of the kitchen in here. Yes. Again, this is such a small trailer. The fact that you're getting a kitchen like this in here. Right. It's absolutely fantastic and phenomenal. And I love how they did Fury on everything. Yes. Yeah. That's number one. Okay. Well, number two, I'm gonna have to go with the amount of sleeping space. Yeah, it's just incredible. Even for a hybrid, yeah, there's a lot of sleeping space in here. So this is definitely on the larger side. Um, but yeah, they they did great with that. Yeah, and then the fact that it can also sleep adults, right, is, right, is huge. So that's number two, Will. And then number three, what would be a number third? Look, they even did a Furion AC. Good, good, good. Number three, well, I'm gonna have to say the living space in here. Right. So, so I'm just gonna say the length of this travel trailer. Cause here's the deal folks. When you guys see us do 23 foot travel trailers, there's a bed and a tiny dinette and a tiny bathroom. So because the beds pop out, you are able to get this awesome living room space and it just feels so spacious and great. And I'm gonna combo that with the deep slide out. Right, I agree. I love that. Well, well, that's three things we love about it. Now it's time for three things we don't like about this travel show. Okay. Bum, bum, bum. Do you want to go first? Uh, sure. You go first. Okay. I'm going to have to go with the bathroom. Talk to me. This bathroom is just not cutting it. Fails. Yeah, it fails every which direction. The only good thing with it is the sink, probably. 
Yep. But the toilet is mm -hmm. in a terrible position. The shower is way too small. Yeah. Big boy tested. Big boy denied. <laughs> Big boy denied. Yes. Yeah. That is number one. Well, number two for me, as much as I like the pop-up beds, when it comes to making the bed, it is very difficult right. to actually make the bed and put sheets on it all the right, time. Right, right. You know, this is more rough in it. Yes. You know, it's probably going to be more like, hey, just have sleeping bags yep. and put it on. Yep. Because to put like bed sheets on every time is going to be, be a pain in the butt. Yeah. And then number three, well, it's going to be the no solid steps. Right. I actually don't mind that they're aluminum, but aluminum is better than the black steps. But we always like when it is the fold up aluminum sturdy steps. That's right. Well, Will, do you know what time it is? It's now time for the MSRP. <laughs> MSRP on this trailer is $43,683. Will, MSRP. Sale price, RV1 has an awesome discounted sale price, but we're not allowed to advertise it on YouTube. But here's what we do know. If you're interested in this unit or any hybrid, I actually think this one's sold. So if you're interested in any hybrid, all you have to do is go to mattsrvreviews.com and fill out that first contact me form. We have partnered with RVR. So it doesn't matter if you live in New York, Florida, Texas, or California, we have an RVR dealership close to you. And again, as Will said, we're gonna get you phenomenal service, a great price, and the best RV buying experience in the RV industry. That's Will, right. is there anything you'd like to say? Of course, yeah, thank you all so much for watching. Again, we personally really like hybrids. Um, over pop-ups. Uh, yeah, over pop-ups. They're just so much quicker and easier and, and more fun in my opinion. Um, make sure to leave down in the comments below. Let us know three things you like, three things you dislike. Make sure to smash the thumbs up button and subscribe. Thank you absolutely everybody yes. so much for watching and we'll, we'll see you next time. time.